So let's start with the threat that ultimately rang rather hollow in the run up to the festive season. North Korea had warned the US that it had a Christmas gift for President Trump. It hinted it could be the testing of a long range missile, but Christmas Day has come and gone here in Korea anyway, with no sign of any military provocation big or small by the North. Analysts, however, are still paying close attention to any developments in the coming days as the regime's self-imposed year-end deadline for more flexible nuclear negotiations with the US is drawing ever and ever closer. Kim Hyo-sun starts us off. Christmas has passed in Korea with no apparent gift to the US by the regime. Tensions were rising as North Korean diplomat Lee Tae-sung warned earlier this month that the regime could send an undesirable Christmas gift to Washington if it does not deliver a new approach to relations between the two sides. South Korean government and military officials said Wednesday that they are closely monitoring any developments, but added no signs of provocation had been witnessed so far. The U.S. also flew four surveillance planes over the Korean peninsula between Tuesday and early Wednesday. As it is unusual for so many American surveillance planes to conduct missions around the region at the same time, the latest movement shows the U.S. is taking the situation very seriously. However, there were no signs of movements in North Korea, including preparations for a long-range missile or satellite launch. Neither were there signs suggesting the fifth plenary meeting of the 7th Central Committee of the Ruling Workers' Party of Korea is imminent. Analysts say Chinese President Xi Jinping's indirect message to the North's leader Kim Jong-un to refrain from any major provocations on the sidelines of the recent Seoul-Beijing summit could have played a role. As we draw ever closer to the North's self-imposed year and deadline for the U.S. to be more flexible in nuclear negotiations, the regime's No Dong Shinmun, the mouthpiece of the ruling Workers' Party, published an article on artificial satellites for peaceful purposes. In a piece titled Global Movement Towards Space Development, the paper explained satellite launches by China, India and Egypt. It pointed out that many countries are expanding their capacities for space exploration, which could imply the regime's intention to do so as well. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.